Welcome, everybody. I'm Kathleen McCartney, Dean of the Harvard Graduate School of Education, and it is my honor to welcome you all to today's commencement activities. Graduates, this is your day. All of us here applaud you, the class of 2011. I loved seeing you wave your Sesame Street books this morning in Harvard Yard, and it was only this morning that I learned that this is a tribute to Jerry Lesser, whom we lost this year, and I thought the faculty would like to know that, so thank you so much. I'll be sure to let the family of Professor Lesser know of this fitting tribute. Graduates, many people have helped you to arrive at this special moment in your lives. Your parents, grandparents, partners, friends and others have been cheering you on today as they have throughout your time here. Graduates, I invite you to thank the many people who have supported your studies at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And I noticed that many of the graduates have brought their children with them. I would like to invite all of the children to comment on today's ceremony in whatever way they see fit. <laughs> there are 345 staff members who have also supported you, and many of them are volunteer commencement staff today. They are the folks wearing the white polo shirts. Graduates, I invite you to thank the assistant deans program coordinators, librarians, the teams in enrollment and student services, operation, and so much more. And while, while you're standing, Let's give a special thanks to the Office of Student Affairs, which has planned and hosted Commencement Week. There are 80 faculty members who have taught you, mentored you, and loved you. Graduates, I invite you to thank the faculty once more. Please be seated. <laughs> you are now alumni of the Harvard Graduate School of Education. <laughs> you are now a member of a community like no other I know. You will take sustenance from this place, for it will serve as your intellectual home now and always. All of us here on Appian Way will take pride throughout the years as we learn about the impact of your work. You will contribute in so many ways as researchers, teachers, principals, superintendents, literacy specialists, community organizers, higher ed administrators, <laughs> arts specialists, policy analysts, leaders of education organizations, and leaders in government. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? Today really is a day of celebration of your passion for learning and your commitment to serve others as educators. Commencement is a ritual that honors all you have accomplished. And what a ritual it is. The regalia, the flags and banners, the music, and the speeches. So many people have told me that they can't remember much about their commencement. I want to make sure you remember all this right here, right now. 
You know, cognitive psychologists tell us that it takes only a few seconds to form a long-term memory, about seven seconds to be precise. So let's make one together right now, a collective memory that we'll share. Look around you, hug a few people, and take in this moment. I hope, I hope you will rely on this memory when the work gets hard, and it will. One day you may fail to reach a student. One day you may fail to persuade others to take a step you believe is crucial in your work. One day you may fail to raise the funds you need to green light a project. This moment can serve as a reminder of the optimism you feel right now. You get to construct your reality after all, no one else. When people tell you that education is an intractable problem, you have the option of choosing faith in your work. You have the option of choosing to move forward. Many things inspire me during dark days. As you might remember from orientation, I often rely on poetry. So do many people, like the late Elizabeth Edwards. She faced many challenges in her life, the loss of a child, a public betrayal by her husband, a US senator, and a cancer that took her life too early. Shortly after her death, I learned that Edwards kept a verse from a Leonard Cohen song taped on the wall by her desk. I'd like to read it to you. Ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets through. Emily Dickinson says that a good metaphor takes the top of your head off. I love that Dickinson uses a metaphor to describe the power of it. I heard about Cohen's lyrics and their importance to Elizabeth Edwards from a close friend, Betty Sprague. I was so moved by Cohen's words that I showed them to my colleagues in the dean's office. Since then, I've thought a great deal about the meaning of these four layered lines. Ring the bells that still can ring. Bells announce, proclaim, and signal, as they did this morning in Harvard Yard for you. Ring the bell is an idiom, of course, which means to accomplish or achieve. The first line in Cohen's verse reminds us to do what we can. We cannot ring all the bells, but there will always be bells we can ring. I like the second line best. Forget your perfect offering. It's such good advice. I suspect many of us in this community strive for perfection in ourselves and in our work. We want to be as good as possible. With his third line, Cohen tells us why there is no perfection. Because there's a crack in everything. Now a crack is a fissure, but it's also an opening. For Cohen, it's the latter. He tells us that's how the light gets through. Light is perhaps the most powerful metaphor in all of literature. Writers of all genres use light to represent goodness, wisdom, love, and even God. There is always light if we look for it. Beth Berg, my beloved colleague in the dean's office, framed Cohen's four lines for me as a Christmas present this year. She chose a verdant green paper, the color of spring, embossed with leaves on which to print the verse. She chose a lacy antique frame and threaded a green bow at the top. Even unwrapped, it looks like the special gift that it is, a gift of optimism, of faith in this work we do, and of the choice to move forward in the dark days. Beth's gift was a perfect offering, so maybe they do exist from time to time. I'm so grateful for friends like Betty, colleagues like Beth, poetry in my life, and days like this one. We're gonna ring the bells for you now. Wherever 
your work takes you, find the bells, ring them for all your worth, and remember this day. Thank you. Thank you. Students, are you ready to be recognized as graduates of the Harvard Graduate School of Education? Then it is time to award the diplomas.